This morning in Georgia, election day is stretching well into election month. Georgia Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger announcing a recount of all 5 million ballots by hand to verify the results of the presidential race where President-elect Joe Biden is ahead by 14,000 votes. The recount not likely to change the lead, officials say, but rather bring confidence in the results. We have all worked hard to bring fair and accurate counts to assure that the will of the voters is reflected in the final count. While Raffensperger has repeatedly said he has seen no evidence of widespread voter fraud, he is coming under mounting pressure from some in his own party. The Trump campaign demanding a recount. Is this a response to the demands from the Trump campaign? No, it's a response to state law that requires us to do a state statewide audit. Uh, and so that's what we're doing. Also piling on, Georgia's two Republican senators, Kelly Loeffler and David Perdue, in a scathing statement demanding the Secretary of State resign, accusing him, without evidence, of failing to deliver honest and transparent elections. Raffensperger made clear he is going nowhere, instead firing back. As a Republican, I am concerned about Republicans keeping the U.S. Senate, he wrote. A clear jab at the two lawmakers, both facing critical January runoffs in two separate races that will determine which party controls the U.S. Senate. For Republicans, it's all hands on deck. This is literally, you know, the showdown of all showdowns in terms of politics and what it means. And we don't want to win one of them, we want to win both of them. We need to win both of them. Democrats John Ossoff and Raphael Warnock banking on momentum from Biden's election and Georgia's changing political tide. This is not magic. This is hard work. We've been on the ground for years, registering hundreds of thousands of new voters in the state, trying to give people a voice. Now, earlier there, you saw Senator Marco Rubio in town campaigning for his two Republican colleagues. Next week, Vice President Mike Pence will also be in Georgia to do the same thing. Now, on the Democratic side, we understand that the group Fair Fight, which was founded by Stacey Abrams, has now raised more than $10 million for the two Democratic Senate candidates. Now, as for the recount and when that will be completed, the secretary tells me that he is confident it will be wrapped up by November 20th.